Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Projects. I'm Psycho with you today, and I am going to be reviewing Call of Duty um, Black Ops. So, as far as the gameplay for Black Ops goes, it's a first-person shooter game, like all of the Call of Duties before, which in... In the game, um, the player, aka you, assumed the role of an unnamed foot soldier who can actually wield various firearms and everything, as was the case with um, with all of the before-mentioned Call of Duties. So, the game features a single player, a multiplayer, and a new mode, um, a co-op mode, featuring ti well titled Zombies. So. As we, as we know, um, in single player mode, the story takes place in the 1960s, um, in the Cold War, um, around 20 years after the events of Call of Duty World at War, and pretty much focuses on CIA operations behind enemy lines. Um, the missions from the, in the game take place in various locations around the globe, um, and revolve around an experimental weapon called Nova 6. There is a multiplayer um, mode added to the game um, which is online and you can play it um, on a network as well. So that's well that's for the modes um, and these zombies um, was originally featured in World at War and was revamped to be included in Black Ops. Um, it's a four-player online mode and a two-player split-screen as well, um, which can be unlocked um, unlocked uh, online. I'm sorry, I got I lost my word there um, a bit. Um, so yeah, where were we? We were going to go on to the graphics. As said, the graphics and everything have been um, have been amped up from the previous Call of Duties um, and have been enhanced a bit more. Not much has been changed. It's, the game will still run on a bit older computers and everything, um, so it's not necessary to have a state-of-the-art computer and anything. So, yeah, the game is a really, a really great continuation to the Call of Duty series. Um, it has a great story, um, I especially love the Cold War feature myself, so I recommend it to all of you guys who like FPS's with a historical setting to it. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna be all from my side. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.